So in this video, I'm going to introduce alkyl halides and some reactions associated with alkyl halide. So first, let's define an alkyl halide. So what it is, is it has a halogen atom. Halogen atom. And remember, that's the column where you find chlorine, iodine, bromine, etc. So it has a halogen atom bonded to an sp3 carbon. And so here are some examples. Um, let's say you have this. And then remember the H's are implied, so that's the CH3 there, CH3. So that will be an alkyl halide. Something like this would also be an alkyl halide. Remember, you have an H there as well. Um, and then another one could also be this. iodine and then CH3 is all the way around. And so similar to alkanes, you can classify alkyl halides as primary, secondary, or tertiary. So let's do that. So we'll just use chlorine. So chlorine and then Chlorine there, and then finally, chlorine there. And so, how you classify primary, secondary, and tertiary is really, it's just the carbon that it's bonded to. So let's say you have a chlorine here and here. So, you have to look at the carbon that it's bonded to. So, you're going to look at that carbon, that carbon, and that carbon. And so, primary means that the carbon in blue that you're looking at is only bonded to one other carbon. And so, what that means is here it's bonded to one carbon. Here, this carbon is bonded to two carbons. And here, it's bonded to three carbons. And so, as a result, the naming is pretty easy. So, this would be a primary, primary halide, because you have a chlorine there, and chlorine is a halide. This would be a secondary secondary halide and then finally this one is a tertiary halide and you can't have more than uh, three like a tertiary halide because the carbon can't bind to four carbons and uh, chlorine because it can only have four bonds and so one thing we really have to remember is the structure of the alkyl halides. So we'll talk about that. Um, so let's say you have a carbon there. The X represents any halogen. So let me just do that in blue. X is commonly used to designate halogens. So X is halogens. Um, halogen, any halogen, sorry, let me erase that. Um, and so what you're going to have is R groups coming off of that carbon. And so R can either be a carbon or a hydrogen. It's just um, essentially it's just anything really. Um, a carbon or a hydrogen I mean. So what you're gonna have is 
since the halogen is more electronegative, it's going to be pulling electrons away. So then you designate this carbon with a partial positive, and then this halogen has a partial negative. So it is being pulled this way. And so that's the arrow. And so the most important thing you're going to learn for organic chemistry is uh, with regards to alkyl halides is the synthesis of them. When you have an alkyl halide, that's the beginning for other reactions. It's really important that you know how to do this reaction. And so essentially, what how you synthesize an alkyl halide is you use a free radical halogenation, which we'll talk about in the next video. But the whole purpose of that is to take an alkane, which is essentially just a chain. Um, it could be branched. And then you add a halogen, X2. So Cl2, I2, uh, Br2. And then you add light or heat. And then it makes an alkyl halide. So something like this, for example. Um, I'll, we'll discuss this more in the next video, but this is um, free radical halogenation and alkyl halides are really important. Uh, they're a really important fundamental thing for organic chemistry. And so I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends.